Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to head down to Cornwall in England once again and there seems to be a lot of good little craft breweries popping up down in that county these days. So for this one we're going to go to a place called uh, Goonhavern which is near Perrinporth if I'm remembering correctly and we're going to try my first beer from Black Flag Brewery. So this one is the Juicedelic, it's a double IPA and it comes in at 8.2% and this the hops in this one are citrus and mosaic so it should be quite interesting it's supposed to be one of these kind of New England hazy style IPAs and uh, like I said uh, Cornwall seems to be getting a lot of good breweries these days the last beer I had from Cornwall if I'm remembering correctly was a Doppelbock which was from Harbour Brewery and that was really really nice and that's a brewery that seems to be getting a lot of praise these days as well Cornwall of course tends to have its own kind of traditional ale scene and it's meant to be a very very pretty county of course somewhere that I definitely need to check out in the future and I would love to learn a little bit more about the kind of uh, traditional uh, Cornish ale scene as well so hopefully I can go down there at some point fairly soon but my very first taste of a beer from this brewery and like I said there seems to be a lot of craft breweries popping up down there as well so good points to move on in the future but anyway as is usual with my beer reviews then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery it will be very brief for this one because there wasn't too much information available if you want to get straight to the tasting of course just fast forward all the usual links are in the description below the brewery website the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Black Flag Brewery very first time I'm trying one of their beers of course there's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do please consider subscribing to the channel the whole channel has a geography based tagging system so you can go into the home page and search for beer based on country city or state whatever it is you're interested in do check out the playlist of beers from different countries there is one there for all the English beers that I've reviewed for you before and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review it's always great to hear from you guys and the support that you give the channel is hugely appreciated so anyway to tell you a little bit about but Black Flag Brewery then. So Black Flag, as I mentioned to you, are based in a place called Goonhaven, which is very close to a town called Perrinporth in the kind of, it's almost in the middle part of Cornwall actually, but a bit nearer to St Ives in the southwest, and it's not too far from Truro either, if I'm remembering the map correctly. But these guys were founded back in 2012, I believe, by Nick and Ben Sales, who are brothers that were very, very into surfing, and they also like to homebrew as a bit of a hobby as well. But apparently they like to brew with a mixture of New Zealand and American hops. They like to use mainly local malts as well and just they, they say that basically they just want to brew beers that they would enjoy drinking and to just experiment and they're a very small brewery they actually operate with an 8, uh, eight BBL kit at the moment and they do plan to expand this in the fairly near future as far as I know they are based just in a, in a small industrial estate at the moment and they are planning to expand over the next little while but there wasn't too much information available on this brewery I was trying to rake around and find out a little bit more about these guys but there just really wasn't very much at all but a brewery founded by two guys who like surfing. It's almost just like some of these California breweries that you come across of course but I have to compliment them on their artwork as well. And I'm not sure if the black flag is something to do with surfing. It may well be, but of course it probably could refer as well to uh, the black banner that pirates used to fly, of course, which I think is a little bit cooler, but who knows. But yeah, the artwork on this one really is quite nice. I love how they've done this. I need to take the label. I'm loving how a lot of the craft breweries are doing these kind of sticky labels that you can pull off now. That's a big step forward for me. But this one says, uh, yeah, double IPA brewed with two of our favourite hops, citron mosaic, naturally hazy, drink fresh and serve chill. 2.8 units, best before the 27th of October 2017. So, yeah, it should be a really interesting one. That's 330 milliliter can. You've seen the artwork and you can see up here, this is the black flag brewery symbol. So, really nicely presented beer. Without further ado then, I guess, let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting. I'm not sure if any of the, the English beer tubers have reviewed a, a beer from this brewery but as I always say if you want to keep up with the, the English beer scene you can check out guys like Craig over at Kent Beer Reviews, Dean from Dean's Beer Reviews, Harriet Blue Nose, J. Cole, uh, and there's also Rob at Hop Scene as well. Stuart Pickard, unfortunately, has just uh, has just retired, so Ginge Real Ale Trail uh, won't be going on for that much longer, unfortunately. It's a shame. He's a good beer reviewer, him. But um, these guys were always reviewing these kind of English beers, and I just do them when I can, because mainly I live out in Sweden, of course, and I'm just back for a little while every so often. So, as you can see, this guy has poured a really nice 
kind of, it's quite a rich sort of orange colour. There's one or two little bits of sediment just at the bottom of the glass there. There's a solid half finger of a kind of bubbly white head on this one. It's not really very frothy at all. It is quite a big bubbled head on this one. One or two big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass. A few smaller ones going up towards the bottom of the head. But I think it's fair to say that one is definitely a nice kind of orangey, almost fruit juicy colour. It's not quite as hazy as some of the ones I've seen before, but there's a good bit of opacity to that. If I put my fingers behind the glass, you cannot see through that at all, but it looks very nice and you can smell some of these lovely kind of orangey tangerine notes coming up from the mosaic in this and some of the citra the mangoes from the citra are coming off of this right away but let's take a closer look at the aroma then and see how we get on oh yeah that smells lovely the mosaic's a hop that I've really, really grown to love over the last little while. As you've, if you've watched my channel before, you will know that when it comes to IPA, I love like the uh, the Pacific, the Pacifica from New Zealand, the Amarillo from America, and the mosaic. It's just the orangey flavours. I love IPAs that have these kind of orangey, citrusy flavours in them, and the mosaic with the lighter kind of juicy tangerine sort of thing is one that really just hits the spot for me. And Citra, of course, is another one. Citra and Simcoe, I really love those as well. The mango notes. But this beer smells just like a big juice bomb, essentially, you know. It's got a lot of nice kind of tangerine oranges in there. You can get a little bit of the mango, but for me it's the mosaic that's dominating this one. It's that juicy tangerine orange. It almost has a little bit of that, oh, that sort of New Zealand hoppy character to it, actually, with the juicy notes. There's maybe a little bit of a kind of lychee sort of thing and lemon lime, that's the kind of complexities that you'll get out of the um, out of the citra hop, That it always gives you some of these nice tropical and lemon limey notes but yeah definitely a little bit of floral aromaticity, not too much, it does lean more towards the wet kind of juicy side of things, there's a little bit of grassy note, probably more grassy than floral to be fair and underneath you can just smell a little bit of that sort of wheaty, oaty, bready thing that you expect of these hazy IPAs, it's got that nice kind of, kind of almost creamy note to it, but it smells really nice. So as I always say, with craft beer, smelling the beer is half the experience. Just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of the beer before you actually have a go at it. But let's taste this one then. So this one is the Juicedelic from Black Flag Brewery, based in Goonhaven, actually very close to what was it again, a Perinporth in Cornwall, down in England, Slanger. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. It's got, it really, it comes in with a good bit of hoppy bitterness. It's not going to blow your head in terms of IBUs, but it's certainly got a nice juicy note to it that. If you get the chance to try this and you like your IPAs just to lean a little bit more towards the juicy side of things, this one I think is going to definitely hit the spot for you. Yeah, that's really quite nicely done. I just love the juicy aspect, the, the juicy part of the flavour of this one. It comes in just a little bit stronger and then it just mellows out a little bit. That's good. For me, when it's when it's eight percent. It doesn't ha it's not quite as smooth in the malt base as some of the other ones I've come across. I would say that about this beer. It does have a little bit of that smoothness to it, but it's just not got quite got the same creamy feel that you can get from some of them. And you do pick up a little bit of the booziness in this one. At 8.2%, it's on the lower side of the double IP. I mean, a lot of the ones that you'll get from like Magic Rock, Cloud Water, uh, Verdant, and or Verdant, and all of these sorts of things, they can be up towards the 9%. This one's a little bit lighter, and you can just detect a little bit of that booziness in there. But it does suit the beer actually. The the kind of floral aromatic aspects of both the citra and the mosaic do cover that a little bit, but you can pick up just a little bit of booziness in the the malt base in this one. Yeah, I do like that, it's just that juicy mouthfeel that it has. So yeah, let's go through the flavour a little bit more then. So in the middle of your palate, 
you can get this nice sort of smooth wheaty bready kind of thing but there is a little bit of a grainy aspect to it I can pick up just a little bit of graininess in the in the middle of the palate there if you go right into the middle of the tongue there's a wee bit of a sweet sort of biscuity note and the malt base, you know, the malt base with these sort of New England hazy IPAs is always kind of fairly straightforward. And there's so many of these breweries doing these beers these days, but they work out very well. On the hoppy side of things, I'm finding it's getting a little bit more floral as your mouth adjusts to it. So in the back corners of the palate, you can pick up a tiny little bit of earthiness. That, of course, is one of the traits. Of, uh, of the mosaic hop, but as you come further forward there's a nice sort of floral aromatic note to this one and you can just feel that, it's got a little bit of a spicy character to it as well and it just gets a little bit more dank as the flavour progresses, you can just feel that darker floral, floral aromaticity to this beer and that's the mosaic I find as well, the mosaic tends to be a slightly more dank floral one than, than the, uh, the citra does Around the front curve of the palate, though, it definitely lightens out, and you get a little bit more of this more kind of lemon grassy and um, just freshly kind of cut grass note out of the beer. But of course, when you go behind the front curve of the tongue, that's where you get these nice fruity notes, and that's where the complexity of this beer starts to come out a little bit. So, yeah. On the fruity side of things, definitely for me, it's leaning towards these kind of tangerine oranges. The mangoes are there, but they're a little bit lighter. To me, it seems like the mosaic is the one that's kind of coming out in this a little bit more. It's the orangey flavours for me that are sticking out in this. The mangoes are there. There's none of this. You can sometimes get a little bit of the darker grapefruity note from, um, from Citra, but I'm not picking up too much of that. There's a little bit of that kind of darker oily fruit just underpinning the oranges and the mangoes, but for me the beer just mellows out a little bit and gives you that nice tangerine note. As you go further on you can pick up a little bit of the light cheese and it's almost a little bit kind of it's not quite gooseberry and it's not quite uh, lemony or limey. It's more, it's almost, it's not quite, it could be a little bit of like guava or something like that, but there is a kind of uh, almost candied sort of tropical fruit note coming out of this one as you go further and further into the aftertaste. The oranges are there right away, there's a little bit of that darker fruit underpinning it. You get the mangoes and then you can just feel this little bit of kind of tropical complexity coming out and that's the notes that you usually expect of the the citra but you can get a little bit of that tropical complexity with the mosaic as well it's an interesting blend this one because both in some ways they're very they're, they're very similar in the kind of feel that you get from them but they are quite different in the flavor profile the citra and the mosaic but that's a nice beer and on the basis of the mouthfeel it's quite aptly named as well so with this one I would say it's mid-bodied, the carbonation is very smooth, it's got a little bit of creaminess to it but mainly it's quite an oily mouthfeel this one, it is a bit more juicy rather than anything. The IBUs in this are not going to blow your head off, I think it's quite a low IBU beer this, I would guess maybe some somewhere in the region of, uh, of like around 50, something like that, I'm not too sure, but it is a lower, uh, it is one of the lower I IBU beers that you're going to come across. The, oh, how would you say, the malt base has a little bit of sweetness to it, but mainly it's smooth, and the fruity notes, there's a little bit of darker fruit note to this one, and uh, it just mellows out and it leans more towards the juicy side of things. So like I said, it's quite an aptly named beer, this. So overall, they've done a pretty damn good job with this one, and I'd certainly want to try some more of the beers from uh, Black Flag Brewery in the fairly near future. So, yeah. It's been really cool to try my first beer from these guys. I hope you've enjoyed my take on this one, and I do hope that we find more of these beers up in Scotland fairly soon. I actually got this one at Hippo Beers in Glasgow, so I'll put the link to them in the description below, and you can check out their thing, because they do seem to get a lot of these more random English craft breweries in that shop there. So if you're watching in the Glasgow area, make sure you go and check out Hippo Beers and try some of these things, because there's some really good quality beers coming out of England these days. So, yeah, it's been really cool to do my first review from these guys. I hope you've enjoyed my take on this one. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Do check out my social media. Let me know your own thoughts on this beer in the comment section below. Let me know what your favourite beers are from Black Flag Brewery, and of course, do give me some recommendations of other Cornish breweries to check out as well. But it's been really cool to review this one. Thank you for watching and I will catch you guys very soon. The Juicedelic from Black Flag Brewery in Perrinporth down in Cornwall. Slange it just now and I'll catch you guys very soon. If you like a juicy IPA, this is one that you definitely want to check out. Cheers.